Bonjour. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but if you guys knew me from the time that I was Mademoiselle Erika or even Erika will go to Paris, then first, I would just like to thank you because it's been what? Nine, ten years since that era and you guys are still here. So I would like to thank you and I just want to say that this video is for you because today we will be reacting to my old poems from Tumblr, which I wrote when I was 13 years old. So, ah, kind of shy and embarrassed, but if this is something that is interesting to you, then just please keep on watching. TikTok of our generation but instead of videos it was a blogging site so you could write whatever you wanted you could post some pictures as for me I wrote a lot of poetry I don't know if I'm calling poetry because I'm ako. Pero I wrote a lot of those and and am pumuri sa akin, which I'm very thankful for pero Every time I mention it to me, I'm laughing. I'm cringe ako, actually. Because I'm like, I don't know what the things I wrote are. But I just remember it's so much drama. Niya. As in, so much drama. And I was, what, 13 years old? 14 years old? What did I know about what I was writing about? What did I know about love? What did I know about heartbreak? You know, looking back, I thought, what did I know about my heartbreak? I was trying to be this very complicated, manic, pixie dream girl. Anyway, I just want to say to defend myself, that was the time na uso si David Levita, John Green, Nicholas Sparks. So, yun yung time na lahat tayo nagbabasa ng pocket books and everything. So, feeling ko, ginagaya ko yung writing style nila, which was kind of like focused to teenagers. So, um, <laughs> medyo nahihiya ako. Sabi ko nga kanina, it's been what, 8, 9, 10 years ever since I wrote those stuff. So, don't judge me. Pero, Okay, let's judge together. I think this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I just wanna say, kapag may mga wrong grammar, ganun -ganun, please forgive me. I was 13 years old. Pero feeling ko naman, wrong grammar pa rin ako magsulat ngayon. Minton, pero, hindi <laughs> ko alam. Ba't ko ba't ginagawa sa sarili ko? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Basahin natin siya from the newest one to the oldest one. So feeling ko, medyo mas adult pa ako nito. So the first one that we're gonna react to, of course, the Tumblr bio. Ko. <laughs> ah, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm cringe. Na ako. Shit, I'm crying. Okay. Okay. So I'm Snow White, and I feed on apples that kill me. I'm Ariel out on the Mediterranean Sea. What? <laughs> ano to be honest. In a rhyming dictionary ko lang to. Tapos kinoconnect ko nek ko lang siya para lang masabi kong mag-rhyme, 'di ba? Wala akong kwenta. Ano pa to? But ito yung bio ko na kakaya. I'm Princess Jasmine on that royal family tree. I'm Belle who stand out as in their beauty. Wow, kala mo na what? And Mulan, brave and selfless of whom does her duty. <laughs> Adire. I'm Rapunzel whose hair is lengthy and Aurora whose fate was unlucky. I'm Minnie Mouse, finding her Mickey, and Cinderella, who proved to be plucky. And we plucky, and we to be I'm a fairy tale that starts with Betty, then grows into a sudden confetti. I am a mix and clash of Disney characters. So silly, it's almost synonyms with infinity. Eh, it doesn't even make sense. Um, not something that I would write about myself now. I feel like. It's so silly, it's so childish, and nakakahiya. <laughs> Ew, nandidiri ako. I wouldn't, parang gusto kong palitan yun ngayon. Hindi ko na kasi ma-access yung Tumblr account ko, so hindi ko na ma-alter yung mga description dito and everything. But if I could, I would change this description. It is so, uh, no, girl, girl, no. Nakakahiya. Okay, to my post. Let's do this. Your heart can only take so much flame to accommodate a one-time love of fireworks. All the others love only the ashes it leaves behind. What's sad is that after a night of lights and explosions, 
the ones who start a fire in you only get burned in the process. Not bad, no? What was I trying to say? Wait lang, hindi ko ma-process yung tarili ko. <laughs> Actually, hindi ko alam. Ano ba irere ako dito? Eto, eto, eto. Another one about unrequited love. Sobrang funny. <laughs> John, kapag napapanood mo to, ganito ako dati. Sobrang sad kong tao. Buti na lang dumating ka sa buhay ko. <laughs> alam mo, hindi ko ma-imagine yung sarili ko na ganito pa rin ako magsulat. Kasi... Girl, ang drama. Ewan ko, feeling ko kapag nag-break si John, babalik ko tong mga ganitong emo self ko. So I write this to you, but you would never know because you never stared enough to see the way I would smile every time I heard your name. You never listened enough to hear the giggles that escape every time you speak when you're not even funny. If only you cared enough, maybe then you'd know you were in every story I told. I could write out a million poems and you would never know, much less that they were about you. Mm, actually, kapag nagsulat ako, feeling ko ng ganito, and it was dedicated to John, hindi niya pa rin babasahin kasi sasabi niya, ay, English naman. <laughs> Ooh, I remember writing this one. This one is good. Puriin niyo ako ah, sa comments, puriin niyo ako kasi feeling ko maganda siya. Ako, sabi ko, nagki-cringe ako sa mga ginagawa ko. Tapos ito ako, kayong pinupuri ko sarili ko, nakakahiya. Okay. The one thing I was ever sure of with you was that we were unsure. And that was alright with me. Because unsure meant you could either go or you could stay. It meant you at a standstill. Temporary, yes, but still here. I want to keep beating the odds so you're always dazed between a crossroad of choices because that meant I could buy us some time. Mmm, taray! Taray ni ate mo, girl! Alam mo, napakaswerte ng lalaking sinusulatan ko before. Ah. I mean, imagine mo. That would be so romantic, di ba? Pero I don't think he has ever... Actually, they. I don't think they have ever read my poems kasi... Actually, tinatago ko yung Tumblr ko sa mga high school friends ko before. I mean, I tried to like change the topic every time yun yung pinag-uusapan. Kasi feeling ko ang drama niya. At saka, sobrang ibang tao ako sa Tumblr. At saka, totoong buhay. Like, I'm so bubbly, I'm so jolly and everything. Tapos, biglang makikita mo ako nagdadrama-drama sa Tumblr. <laughs> okay, ang haba. Ang haba nito. Pero, let's try. There is a reason why skin is the first line of defense against a disease. Wow, scientific ka, girl. When a virus finds its way inside, it can crawl almost anywhere from your pipe-tight arteries to your significantly visible veins and maybe even cross through a lucky little pathway leading to your silly organs you might as well have sold in eBay. I don't know. Wait. Nakakaya. Um, this is not, like, scientifically correct. The doctor in me is cringing. Tapos, ano to? Your silly organs you might have well, you might as well have sold in eBay. Girl! What? What does that even mean? Hindi ko gets. What the hell? Anyway, so, let's continue. Never let a virus get under your skin. It should be easier this time. This is a new era. No longer are microscopes necessary to identify one. A virus is a walking, talking, breathing human. Do not let them get under your skin. They're just a virus. The only way for them to damage you is if you let them. Okay. I mean, I get the point. Na gusto kong sabihin na yung virus, mga tao lang na sinisiraan ka and everything. And the only way that they can break you down is if you lower down your defenses and if you let them. But I just wanna say, I just wanna say, I just wanna correct this kasi nakakahiya. Girl, girl, hindi ka na ka-identify ng virus gamit ang microscope. Okay, Erika? Erika, 13-year-old Erika, I just wanna say that. Hindi ka na ka-identify ng virus gamit ang microscope. Kasi nakakahiya naman. Next! She could weave the words in her head as easily as a spider does its webs. Except when it was about you. 
Then she drew an hat over it. So, oh, that I girl, di ko inexpect. Actually, meron naman mga okay pa din, di ba? I think that's not too bad. Eto, next one. Kind of long. This is kind of long. When will I grasp the fact that you have strayed away from your orbit and out of my intergalactic messed up mass of a life? What? To see you go into the orbit of another that may treat you a little better than I did is the only time I realized that once I had your gravity pulled onto all the smallest inches of myself only to have me peel it off one by one. I am not your son anymore, nor am I even in the same galaxy. When will I learn that if I push you away, you won't fall right back to your orbit? Okay, so I actually remember why I wrote it. There's a guy from my high school who liked me, and I liked him back. But um, I only realized that I liked him when he didn't like me anymore. I kept pushing him away. Because I don't know. I don't know if I was testing him, if he would always come back or whatever. That was so shallow. Girl, don't do that. That was kasi dati, sobrang takot ko magmahal. Every time I was able to have this chance with somebody, I would push them away. I wouldn't want it kasi I didn't want to open up myself. I didn't wanna get hurt. So, inuunahan ko na yung pagkakataon. So, I just push them away. And then, I would write down my feelings na I was rejected and everything. Pero, girl, kasalanan ko naman lagi. I mean, it was me who was afraid to take a chance. So, gets nyo ba? Next one. I miss the light in your voice and the sound waves in your eyes. If you think that's a wrong way to use words, imagine what I must feel when I see right through you and see you use your heart to think and your mind to love, and not the other way around. We use the right instruments with the wrong notes, and we put all the blame on it anyway. I'm putting the blame on you anyway. That's actually okay. I mean, I like that. Hindi pala ako ganun nakakahiya, guys. Okay naman, di ba? Makafili ko, eh, pinupuri ko lang yung sarili ko dito nakakahiya. Okay naman, di ba? Parang sakto lang. Hindi naman siya ganun ka annoying. Like, hindi naman siya puro drama lang. Okay, next one. We have come to the age where we are defined as a paradox. We are a complication that contradicts itself. We eat our own promises. We've come to the age where double meanings aren't the homophones? Tama ba yung homophones? We have come to the age where we have redefined double meanings. We say one thing and they mean another that do not even look remotely alike. We have come to the age where even our body can't be in peace with all its parts. For my heart tells me to go, but my mind tells me no more. Adiri! <laughs> we have become an antonym of ourselves, and the words we say are opposite of the feelings we have. Mmm. Gusto ko yung my heart tells me to go, but my mind says no more. Tara. <laughs> Okay, next one. Mold can only grow with moisture, but you knew that all along, didn't you? Mold only came to grow on the petty cracks of my soul because you lathered it with all the needed moisture from the tears that you were the reasons for and the causes of. Okay, next one. Oh, ang haba nito. But it got a lot of notes. Grabe, 745. Okay, so it's a summarize ko na lang siya kasi I don't think it's gonna fit. So I'm just gonna say to you my favorite parts. It's entitled, My Love Letter to Nobody. Aha! We were just a goddamn phrase. We didn't have dots in us. And that was the problem. We never made sense. The thing with phrases is that you do not know when they start and when they end. And as for us, that was the same. I do not know when the beginning started or if this is already the end. All I do know now is that every day with you has been my climax. There is no rising or falling action to you. Maybe we aren't even supposed to be a story. Maybe all we were supposed to be was a phrase. Just a goddamn phrase. But you know what? I am terribly lucky to be even in the same line as you. So really, it has been a pleasure being a phrase with you. Even if it meant that people couldn't figure us out. Even if it meant that people couldn't understand. 
We were just a goddamn phrase. We didn't make sense. But we didn't have to, to fall in love. That was just like my favorite parts. Pero kung makikita niyo, ganito siya kahaba. And girl, linive out ko na yung mga nakakayayang parts. Linive out ko na yung mga pangit na parts. But that, this one, this one, th this could stand on its own. And it's really pretty actually. I actually like it. Wow, pinupuri ko yung sarili ko, guys. Never kong ginawa to before. Like, never kong pinupuri yung sarili ko sa mga pinagsusulat ko. I guess, maganda rin pala yung matagal kong hindi binabasa yung mga gawa ko. Kasi, napupuri ko sarili ko. Naiisip ko na, ay, pwede pala ako magsulat. Or feeling ko kasi, um, I used to be really harsh on myself because it was motivation for me to always get better, to always keep writing, always practice. Ngayon kasi hindi na ako nagsusulat, tsaka hindi na ako nakakapag-practice. I could never write something like this anymore kasi feeling ko wala na akong patience to get my thoughts together and everything. So feeling ko kaya ako napupuri yung sarili ko kasi um, it's something that I don't do anymore. But let me know kasi feeling ko, minsan feeling ko, ano, binubuhat ko lang yung sarili kong bangko. <laughs> anyway, let's keep reading kasi na-enjoy ko itong gawin.